All right, so our finished syrup uh, is at room temperature. And then here we have our culture, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we did here, we, we just did here, is we strained uh, one cup of this out, right? Mm -hmm. So we uh, strained a cup of the culture out. And then we took one cup of the strained culture and then simply poured it into the room temperature syrup. And then we have the cheesecloth on and the rubber band here. And then how long will this sit now? Well, it has to sit for three days, probably at least, and as long as a week and a half. Mm -hmm. So the longer you let it sit, the more the, the sugar will get consumed. So the less sweet your soda will be. Right. And the more fermented it will be. So ideally for like your standard ginger beer, the really good taste in ginger beer that we're going to make, that you're saying about three days? Yeah, probably. We just have to, you have to kind of watch it. So we'll come back maybe in the next few days and show you when it's ready. Okay. Um, you need to stir it in the morning and again at night, just like you did with your... Um, culture when you were making that. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we're going to be stirring this for mm -hmm. uh, a couple of times a day? Mm -hmm. Okay. It and likes to be stirred, so you can stir it more than a couple times a day if you'd like. Okay, so we'll stir this for a few days and then we'll take a look at it now and what it looks like three days from now so you can see. All right. All right and that'll be the next step. So uh, it is the very, no, it's not the next day. It's It's been three, three days, days, hasn't days it? Three days have soda. gone by. <laughs> Yes, so now you can see that there's bubbles on the top just when we open the um, jar. So three days and look at that. All bubbly in there. Wow. I stir it, it makes a nice bubbly sound. Can you hear that? Let's see. I don't know if I can, but let's see if the microphone can pick it up. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this now into bottles and mm -hmm. we're going to allow it to continue to ferment in the bottles and that's what will give you a really nice fizzy soda okay so first i'm going to pour it into something with a better pour spout yeah i just can this can be anything with a pour spout this is happens to be this pitcher the first thing we could we found in the cupboard that's how this stuff usually works you just use what you got and then we just pour it into the bottles and these bottles we got at a local homebrew supply place, and they have the, uh, you might have seen these in other soda videos of ours. Uh, they have the little gaskets on it, like the Grolsch style beer bottles. These aren't actually beer bottles. Well, they could be beer bottles. <laughs> but you can get them at one of those stores, um, or maybe you drink Grolsch beer and you can save them aside. I've seen some soda um, at Whole Foods in bottles like this. Uh, or you can um, you can use any bottle, right? Any you can mm -hmm. you can get regular bottles with caps and a capper. You can yeah. uh, what else can you do? Can you use just plastic soda bottles? Yep, you can just use screw screw cap bottles. Anything that's going to seal seal the top so that the um, fermentation will keep the carbonation right in the bottle there. Okay. So anything that's going to seal the top. So you can save plastic soda bottles or you can get fancy like this. Yeah. We like the fancy ones. We like the fancy ones because we can reuse them over and over. If you find, you know, you start out with something that's free or cheap and if you, well, this isn't expensive or anything. I mean, you can get a case of these. It's not that much. It's just if you don't have the place near you. But uh, but if you really get into this, you might want to think about it and because you can use them again and again and again and they're really easy. And you want to make them in smaller bottles as well because, uh, well, you know why, it's with soda, it'll lose its fizz if you put it in too big a bottle. It gives me something to talk about as Kimberly's bottling all these. And you notice we're not filling it all the way up to the top. We're filling it to about this point right here. We're just leaving a little bit of air space in there. Okay. Leaving a little bit of airspace. Let's see if we can. Let me get a better. Why don't you take that funnel out and I can. I can. I was going to get it from the top. Oh, so I see. Let's see, I can see it through there and you can also. Oh, well, maybe that's not such the best thing. There you go. Move it around. It's about two inches from the top. And we're just capping the last. We got seven full, uh, full bottles off of this. I don't know how many ounces these are, but 
16? 16 or more. I don't know okay. exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. 16 or more. <laughs> Seven of these little bottles. And uh, so what's the next step? So now we're just going to let these continue to sit out on the counter at room temperature for probably two or three more days. I really like the ginger brew to be pretty fizzy. So I let it sit out for about three days. Some sodas um, I'll choose to only do a day, um, especially if it's a fruit soda. <laughs> you're going to want to um, get it into the refrigerator after about a day or it's going to be um, kind of explosive when you open the top. Mm -hmm. It's going to spray out the top. But so far my ginger ones haven't gotten quite <laughs> that wild. Okay. So. All right. So we're going to see you in another three days. Yep. All right. Hey there, Rowan and Haley. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it is just uh, two days later and that's the perfect amount of time that you need to let these bottles uh, sit out and ferment before and then put them in the refrigerator because you're gonna see why right Rowan? Rowan, it's a little tough for you to open these yourself, right? So I'm gonna help you out. All right Let's see Let's see what happens. I'm gonna open one camera with one hand and actually here. I have an idea Why don't you hold the camera like this? Okay, just hold it like that. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right now. Can you get this on me right there? You got the got the bottle? Don't you have to get me in the picture? Get the bottle? Got it. All right, here we go. Ready? Ta-da! See? And let's take a look at that up close, it too. You can see it. You can see it smoking. It's nothing. We got our ginger beer, and why don't you pour up some there? That's it. That sounds for, hey, hey, it's enough. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, so let's uh, have a drink and see what you think. What you think? Good. Do you like it? And that's if the kids like it. See, that's why we have the kids drink it here for you and not us to prove that it is kid friendly and they love this ginger beer. All right, well, thanks to uh, Rowan and Haley and thanks to Kimberly for showing us how to make your very own for uh, ginger beer using the fermented soda method.